Using FreeCAD, we have the possibility to design almost any type of 3D model. This model is an example of that. In today's video, I will get you step by step to model this neural hardware cabinet in the main 3D modeling workbench of FreeCAD. Using the recent update of FreeCAD stable, the version 1.0.1. I hope you like this video. Let's go. In the page of FreeCAD 1.0.1, create a new document pressing the empty file option available in the new file area. Just press empty file and create a part and body object pressing this icon and the new object will be added in the tree view. This object is very important in the part time workbench. It will record the creation history of the 3D model. Now, let's start designing the model, creating two cylinders attached in the axis plane. To create the two cylinders, we will be using a primitive shape tool. We'll use the active cylinder tool available in the part time active tools. Just go to the Active Tools of Part Time, these tools here, and click on this arrow and you'll find this option Active Cylinder. Click on here and first attach the cylinder in the axis plane. To do that, zoom in and click on the axis plane. And as you see, now we have the cylinder attached in the axis plane. The next step is to change the view to the right. Just press this face here of this box and go to the test panel and change here the radius to 5.7 millimeters and the height to 150 millimeters and click off the next step here is to center the cylinder in the axis plane to center the cylinder in the axis plane we will change the z direction just go to the test panel, scroll down to attachment offset, go to Z duration, minus 65 millimeters. And click off, and as you see, the cylinder is now centered on the axis plane. Now scroll up here and press OK. Press home in your keyboard, and you'll see this. Next, let's create another cylinder attached in the axis plane. To do that, now we need to click on this icon, active cylinder. And also, we need to attach the cylinder in the axis plane. Just zoom in and click on the axis plane. Zoom out and press right view. And go to the test panel. Change the radius to 6 millimeters and then the height to 75 millimeters. And now scroll down to the attachment offset and go to Z duration and change here to minus 75 divided by 2. And now we have the cylinder centered in the axis plane. Now press OK to finish this. The surface of the cylinder here will be where we will model the neural link. 